So nine days ago, our Fox team was hit by Russian fire while news gathering in Ukraine outside of Kyiv. Our colleagues Pierre Shashevsky and Sasha Kushinova were killed in that attack. A correspondent Ben Hall survived. And as we send continued prayers for Ben's recovery, we now know one of the forces behind his rescue, Save Our Allies, a group that aids Americans and allies in combat regions. They do incredible work in dangerous places. And Dr. Richard Jaddick is a member of the team. He is a veteran trauma surgeon. He was teaching a course in Tennessee. When he got a call asking for his help, he dropped everything to get to the region and eventually worked on getting Ben to safety. This is not the first time that he has answered such a call. In 2004, when the Marine Corps needed a doctor in Fallujah, he did not hesitate. He was awarded the Bronze Star with a Combat V for Valor and is the most decorated military doctor to have served in Iraq. Dr. Richard Jadick joins me now. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us and thank you for everything that you do. Um, give us a sense of what it was like when you when you got when you left Tennessee and, and you got to Poland and you got that call to help Ben. Well, it, it was a little bit of a progression. I got I got the call and uh, headed home, got myself packed, uh, got on an airplane and uh, let my family know where I was going. And the initial impact of that was to go with, with Save Our Allies. Uh, Sarah Verardo, who, who runs Save Our Allies, and the, and the board had called and said, will you go over, do some assessments? And, and so I said I would. Um, I got over to Poland, did some of that, and uh, it was later on in the week that we got the call um, to move uh, to Kiev. Uh, to we had to remove, uh, we had to evacuate a, uh, a critically wounded patient. So it wasn't uh, immediate from here to there to get him. It was I was there at the right place, with the right people at the right time, and, and save our allies is the ones who put us there. Well, they, they're an extraordinary organization, and uh, we've heard interviews on our air with Sarah. It's, an, it's just an incredible effort. We want to thank you so much uh, for what all of you have done, and I want everyone to read in and understand what Save Our Allies does. It's very, very dangerous work. So when, when you got there, you have shared, a, you know, just, just a brief sort of what, what was it like? What was your conversation like with Ben? I know he was, I'm sure he was very happy to see you. Uh, when I first saw Ben, I had gone upstairs with the uh, Ukrainian orthopedic surgeon, uh, and I can't, I really can't say enough about this guy, this orthopedic surgeon who had one, uh, had one, one X fix, a little bit of K wire, things that you do to fix bones, and uh, uh, he he looked at me and he said, "That's all I got," and I hope it's okay. And we went upstairs, and I saw Ben. And I looked at looked at him. And I said, "Ben, you don't know me. Uh, I'm Rich Jaddick. I'm a physician." I'm, here to get you out. And he said, when do you want to go? And I said, we, we're going to get ready in about 20 minutes. We're going to get you packaged up and we're going to figure out how to get you out of here. That orthopedic surgeon stands a post at night with an AK and during the day he operates. And um, we were going to do some cases the next morning together. And he, uh, we got the word we had to get out that night. So I went back and, and said, Ben, we're, we're moving. Wow. Now, I know you can't share the mode of transportation because you want to be able to preserve your methods, which we understand. Um, but what can you share with us about how, how you know, the, the tension of that environment and getting out of there um, just in general, in terms of emotionally, what it's like and what it's like to be with a patient who um, it needs to be moved? Well, uh, Ben had some critical uh, injuries uh, that required a lot of attention. Um, one of the one of the hallmarks of evacuating a patient is patients get worse under rough conditions getting out of a bad situation and the bad situation was or could have been made worse just by getting in the wrong kind of evacuation situation and so we worked hard at uh, putting together the right scenario to get him out safely uh, and I would really want to eat my hats off to the guys I was with who, who put that all together. Uh, Save Our Allies are the ones who, who had us in the right position to be able to do uh, for Ben what he needed, which is a safe, easy recovery. Yeah, you, you guys are so extraordinary. And these are former special forces, uh, special ops uh, veterans who just, you know, uh, answer the call of duty as you do with your medical professionalism. And I, and I can't even imagine how um, 
just, just what a, a relief it was for him to see you and to have you say, we're going to get you out of here. I, I can't even imagine um, what that is like for him and for his family. Um, you, you've been to Iraq. You've been to Afghanistan. How do you compare what you saw in those zones to what you were seeing in, in Kiev and in Ukraine? It's, yeah, it's a, that's a, it's a different culture. Uh, a different world when you go to Kiev and when you go to, you know, we went through uh, different towns. Uh, Lviv was our first stop point. Um, these are things, these are people who are, the men are staying there to fight. They, there's just no question. They have the heart of lions. Uh, they, they, will, they will be there until the end of this. There's no doubt in my mind. And they're trying to get their families out. Uh, it is it is a tense situation as you as you go in and you, you start to look at how can we get people out and how who needs to go and who doesn't and the the difference is the men all the military age men are staying behind and and fighting whereas in Afghanistan and Iraq um, you could be in one village one day hear one thing and um, it, never did you get that sense of we need we need to fight we need to fight for what is right and what is ours um, yeah. in the Ukraine we do see that uh, it's, you, it, it, it's completely yeah. different cultural aspects to what is going on yeah it's extraordinary their story I, I want to ask you one more question before I let you go because I know you were very moved by the children that you saw at, and suffering and being moved out of their homes and and on the run essentially um, your thoughts on that and what can we do what can people at home do to, to help support the work that you and your colleagues do well, I mean, yeah, the, the children are, to me, that, you know, I've got three kids, um, teenagers, all of them, but I, I feel for every parent who is over there who is separating from their husband, their brothers, uh, their mothers in a lot of areas, a lot of orphans, uh, just the psychological impact of the air, the, the air raid sirens, the bombings, um, the concern of where I'm getting the next meal and how do I get water, uh, evacuating patients across the border on foot. Um, it, it is psychologically horrible for these kids. And, and then they get to a, to a refugee center where uh, they don't have a lot of, they don't have toys, they don't have things to keep them occupied, their mind off of things. So I would say, Get with some of these organizations, the Red Cross, um, some of the GRM, uh, Global Response Management, um, Samaritan's Purse, and, and, and see what we can do to, to help them, support them. SOA is another one. Donations are, are best because we can find ways to get that money to these people. Uh, yeah. But getting on the website SOA is, is just as good. SOA is Save Our Allies. And um, we encourage everybody to do what you can to donate, to help. I can only imagine what your wife and your three children said when you said, I'm going to Poland uh, and then into Ukraine. But you do the work that um, that is so needed. And we are just really honored to talk to you, Dr. Jadik. And, and again, we're so grateful for all that you did for our colleague. And also, I should mention the dignified transfer that you oversaw for Pierre Zhashevsky and uh, with that team. So we're grateful to you. Thank you so much for being here. Save Our Allies. Thank you for having the me. It's on the bottom of your screen. Thank you very much, doctor. All the best to you. We'll be right back. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.